to the Saints boys. Uh, they nearly him so close in that semi-final against Castle. I don't want to take you back and no, disappoint you, mate. No. But did you think you'd won that game? Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, obviously so close, but yeah, so far. Uh, it was just one of them things. Obviously, it came down to golden point and we just didn't slight in the end. Mate, you've done something really amazing for a charity I'd never heard of. You sent your hair away. Yeah. Talk to us about the, is it Little Princess? Little Princess uh, Trust, yeah. So it's full of nits and um, fleas, so <laughs> they're probably going to have to disinfect it. So, But no, it's just, it's just to make, uh, make make wigs for young young girls, and obviously, that, that have lost their hair. So uh, it's just, uh, just a charity that my missus got me informed with, really. So it was just one of them ones. Is that one of them when she really wants you to get an haircut? And she's like, right, how can we get him to get an haircut? I <laughs> found yeah, it online. Yeah. Man, you've, you've lost the locks as well. How are yeah. you feeling? Is it like Samson or have you no, got a bit stronger? No, it's all, all good, mate. Obviously, you know, we're coming out here, it's going to be it's going to be 30 odd degree eating that, isn't it? So uh, I think we, you know, we both made the right call to, to shave that off and uh, hopefully we'll be a lot cooler out there, yeah. Mate, I think, I think the island pack is right up there with the best in the competition. I'm looking through the squads and Tonga look pretty strong in the pack, but you guys were yourselves and uh, Brad Single and Andy Mullally, uh, obviously Mickey Mack, the uh, aggressive, most aggressive man in rugby league. <laughs> it's, it certainly gives you a chance if, you know, to build a platform for every game. You must be confident. Yeah, definitely. You know, we've, uh, you know, we've had what, sort of two get togethers now and, uh, you know, all, all, it's all about getting all lads together, know each other and stuff like that. But, uh, you know, I, I'm pretty confident we can go out there and we can, we can give a good account of ourselves and, uh, you know, hopefully, you know, we just go a game at a time and uh, and see where it takes us, Simo. Louis, we saw you singing the song. Can you sing us a bit of the song? Well, no, I'll leave it to when we get back out there. Cause, uh, <laughs> <laughs> we, 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 we <laughs> throws a bit sore at the moment. So, no, so, so, uh, sing so. no we, we, we've done it. It's on Insta, if you want to watch it. <laughs> I'll chat for, we'll, we'll stick, we'll stick it out there. Um, how's your Guinness drinking? Because obviously now, officially Irish, you need to be able to sink a few Guinness. Have you been practising? Yeah, yeah, the, the toilets in the morning are a bit a bit, uh, a bit wary, but yeah, no, it's all right. I don't mind a bit of Guinness. One thing is you've got a real tough... Uh, it's going to be a, a bit with Jenny. Has Evie been to P&G before? No, never, man. That's something I'm I'm super excited yeah. about. You know, it's I, not it's not a place that you would normally you, you would normally go and visit, is it? So we're lucky that we're involved in something like this that yeah. lets us you know get them life experiences and uh, add towards some of my stories. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, but the stories, the stories, it's, it's going to be good. I think uh, going out there, you, it's like you said, you're never ever going to go and book an holiday. So to have the experience to go there. And uh, a lot of the boys have told us not to leave the hotel, so there's a lot to look forward to. Keith Senior told me when he went on his first tour for Great Britain, uh, they went out there and there were literally people hanging off trees, hanging off lampposts, <laughs> and it was almost like, uh, what that Brad Pitt called that, that zombie one where they're all running behind. Oh, literally, they, they'll yeah. run behind, they'll follow you everywhere. They're just mad for it. It's the only country in the world where rugby league is the national, national sport. sport. Yeah, 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 no, I think it'd be amazing. I think. Just the crowd, I think when we play, I think all the boys said that they're just trying to get in and jump over and, and have a look. And it's, it's, it's going to be an amazing experience just to play out there. I, I spent think. a couple of years at Wakefield with Paulie Ayrton, who at the time was the captain of PNG, and he's told me all sorts of stories about <laughs> how, how when the stadium sell out that quick that they start climbing trees and buildings and anything they can to watch. So, you know, it's going to be a hostile, <clears throat> a hostile environment, something that we've never experienced before. But it's great that we're going to get to do that in a World Cup and come back and be able to share our crack with everyone else. Mate, World Cup, it's a different level of competition. Is What I love about it as well is some, some big players playing for smaller nations and it's the sense of pride that people have got representing the countries, the families' countries. Yeah. David Fafita's dad, cry, uh, granddad crying that he's playing for Tonga. Andrew Fafita, sorry. And it, it, it was amazing, uh, touching video to watch. And some of these lads from PNG, 12 o'clock in the afternoon, middle of the day, heat, and they do not hold back. No, That's no. going to be a game no, when you boys nice. have got to bring your biggest cojones no. <laughs> onto that pitch <laughs> and get ready. Yeah. So when you get the ball, when you go, Mara. <laughs> yeah. yeah, no worries. I'll just, I'll just get bagged about all day, usual. But uh, nah, we're looking forward to it, mate.